In this video we are going to code our validation component. Under the validator directory we are going to create a new file called validation.view and inside of this file we are going to start with a template and then after that we are going to script section as well which exports default object literal and we are going to have some properties here, so props. The first one will be label which will be of the type string and it will be optional so required set to false now just so you know you could also do it the following way I'm just going to create here label string just like this if it's optional but I like to be more strict so I always put required false stating that it's actually uh, optional okay then we're going to have the ID uh, which is of the type string as well and it's going to be required, so required set to true. Then we are going to have name, which will be type string as well. And this one will also be required. Then we'll have show property, which will be of the type boolean. And by default, it will be false. Show property will tell us whether the validation should be shown. In other words, if we have an error for the given input. Then we are going to have CSS class, which will be of the type array, it might be object, or it might as well be string. That's why an e array. And we will have it required as false, it's optional. Then we are going to have validation, which will have all the validation messages. So type, it's going to be either array or object. And then we are going to have default value because it's an array or an object, it needs to be a function. So equals and return. And we're going to return array this time by default. Then we are going to have error instance of the, the error. So type, it's going to be object. Default, it will be instance of the new error. So new error by default and that should now be imported yes at the top here there we go we have error automatically imported if your ID doesn't do it obviously make sure they import it it's from within the same directory so just the, the same directory here okay error and uh, that's all properties for our validation component let's now try and build a template for it so we are going to start with the label everything is going to be happening within the label and we're going to have four property which will take ID property from our component then we will also only show it v if and we're going to create a computer property in just a second called show label now when would we show the label we would show the label when we have a label property specified or if there are errors to be shown so let's create this computer property after props let's uh, create a new one compute it and that's an object literal we're going to start show label and here we simply return this label if this label isn't empty and all this show is set to true so if any of this is true then show the label the content of the label we're going to start with the spun and it's going to be shown v if label if we have label provided then we want to show this label v text will be what we have actually associated with the label property so that's our label and then after this we are going to have our validation spun with a class validation that comes from the SAS files that, that come with the, with the exercise files and then we are only going to show it if we have show property set to true in other words if there are any errors and here we're going to create another spun and this spun will have quite a few properties so I'm just going to put them on new lines the first property we're going to have is the class and it's going to be the CSS class which we're passing through as a property then v4 and we are going to use a message and rule in validation so now where this is going to come from as you can see we have this validation property here and if we open our index.plate you'll see we have this validation property which we will also pass through to this validation component so we will have rule and a message the message is the value and the uh, rule is an index so we have rule for the index message for the 
message for the value. So we are looping through all these. And then v show. We only show this when show error me uh, method, which we will add in just a second, and we pass a rule as an argument. So let's quickly create this method. And after the computed, we are going to create methods. And here we have the show error. And we take rule. And here we're just going to check return this error has this name. So this input with this name for the given rule rule and we need to split it by colon because some rules may have colon and obviously then properties associated with it and we want zero index which is before the colon whatever's before the colon so if we have something like minimum say three then what we're going to do by uh, it's not splice it's actually split we are going to split it that's going to be an array there's the uh, index zero will return minimum this min and index one will return three which is a props so this will give us minimum uh, or whatever other rule there is and this has if we just go back to our error you can see that has takes field which is basically input name and then the rule is optional if there is a rule it will also check if the rule equals whatever we're passing through okay so show error now is applied to it as well let's now go for the last a directive which will be v text and this one will just be the message that needs to be displayed when the validation for this given input and rule has failed now before we go i just want to change one thing here this validation we're returning array we don't need this curly brackets around it we can just return the array and this return statement can go as well so just like this is fine okay now if we save it and close it let's open our text.view what we need to do now is import it to this file so we are going to do import validation from and we import in this it goes goes two levels up and then we have validator and validation.view and now what we need to do is to add this component to this specific one so components and we are making use of the following components so object and it's going to be validation that's how we're going to call it and then validation basically the instance of the component which we imported okay so now to use it what we're going to do after the opening div tag we are going to create a slot and now why we are creating a slot because sometimes you may want to put something else above the input rather than validation and then put the validation directly in the view so for instance above this field we can have the validation component here and then put something above the input in between the opening and closing text input tags so this gives us a little bit more flexibility again Okay, so within the slot, we are going to do this validation. And now this validation has quite a few properties, as you may remember. First one will be the label, which will come from the label property of this component. Next one will be ID, which comes from the data, the property identity. Next one will be name, again, property of the same component name. Then we have show, and we want to only show it if show validation computed property returns true css class which will be computed validation css class again computed property we've created in the previous video then we have validation which we pass through as well validation which is the property of this component and then the error exactly same thing error which is the property we pass through to this text component let's now register this component within our component.js file if we open it let's call it validation and we are going to pull it from validator validation.view okay save it let's open our terminal and let's run npm run dev and once everything has compiled we can open a browser if we hit ref uh, refresh and then submit obviously nothing happens because we don't have required rule on the fields if we put just a single character you can see that the first one displays the validation message show where the second one only gets the highlight because we don't have a label for it so if we go back to the editor and the first thing i'm going to do if i just close this text view under the index.blade let's add this required rule so we're going to add required and let's say please provide 
your first name then i'm also going to add the label for this field so label will be first name colon and star symbol to indicate it's a mandatory field placeholder we can remove in this case because it doesn't make much sense having label and the placeholder and the same thing for this other field it's going to have a label which will be last name and let's remove the placeholder we are going to add required to the validation array so required and let's now add this validation component above this second field so validation and here we're going to have label which will be last name actually this label we can remove because we don't have validation there so it's not going to be displayed anyway label and then we're going to have id which is last name then we are going to have name the same thing last name then we have show show it only when props errors has last name if there is a validation message for the last name within the errors if the input was invalid then show it uh, then we have validation which will be very similar to what we have with the first name so i'm just going to copy all this and just change the first message to please provide your last name then we also need to pass the error so props error if we save it all and preview it in a browser refresh oops something's wrong if we just quickly check cannot read property has of undefined so if we go back to the editor what have we done here uh, has errors it's error not errors okay save it preview in the browser if we hit refresh now you can see the required validation rule kicks in it tells us to provide please provide your first name please provide your last name if we now put just one character this will change to the other validation rule and so on so our validation displaying within the form already works but as you can see we don't see this dialog at the top telling us that the input was invalid now this dialog is a chapter of its own and we will start with it in the following video